Welcome to Bitch Talk. Booze and interviews straight from the heart of San Francisco. This is Ange. That's Aaron. What up? You can find us at bitchtalkpodcast.com. Please check out the website. We work really hard on it. Follow us on our socials. You can see old episodes. There's 300 million of them. Yes, 300 million. You can look at pictures of us. If you want If to. you want to check out our grills. They're not that pretty. That's why we're, we have podcasts. But please go there. We need traffic. We need your support. We know you listen. It just know takes a you second. listen. It just takes a second. And excitingly, you can also find us at BFF.FM on Monday mornings at 5.30 to 6 a.m. for your morning commute. Something to look forward to on, or, a, on a Monday. Yeah, if you're hungover from Sunday... And you need a little laugh in your life just to start off the day, turn on BFF.FM. Yeah, Game of Thrones got you a little pissed off. Totally. Anyways. Listen to us at 5.30 in the yeah. morning. You'll feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Pour a little Jamie into that coffee. Listen oh, I thought you were saying Jamie like Jamie, Jamie Lannister. Lannister. No. Oh, I like that double entendre. Mm-hmm. Well done. Well, when he when we interview him, we'll use that. Yeah. yeah. A little Jamie, a little in, your, Jamie in, in the Jamie. morning. Ooh. Hello. In my in my For third your... eye. Ew. Anyways. Okay. You've never clarified what the third eye is. Is it behind or is it the middle? Doesn't matter. Whatever. whatever it matters your, when you tell me. Whatever your heart desires. Okay. It matters when you tell me like, oh, I, I felt that in my third eye. Third eye blind. I don't know. There's a big difference between one and the other. Yes. Anyway, this week we're taking you back to Sundance. Surprise, surprise. But this one is a really special episode because it was our final day. Yes. Our final episode. Yeah. And it was with homie, best friend of the show, yeah. Frankie Quinones, who is a comedian. A good friend of yours. A good friend of mine from college. But he uh, is a comedian and, and he's really blowing up and I'm really proud of him. But this is for the Dress Up Gang. But why do people know Frankie Quinones? They know him because of Cholo Fit. Yeah, exactly. He plays Creeper, uh, and it went it went pretty viral. If, if you haven't seen it yet, it's fucking it's hilarious. Fucking he hilarious. plays like this uh, ex convict who's turned his life around, <laughs> and now he uh, um, he makes these uh, workout videos, and and they're called Cholo Fit. It's hilarious. Uh, and you, you know, being from LA, it's just it's it's awesome. And, and he really blew up. And and you know, you blew up when people are dressing like you for Halloween. Exactly. I think that's when I was like, okay, yeah, sure. You're tur- you're touring with Craig Robinson, whatever, fine, whatever. Yeah. But little kids, uh, everyone's dressing up like you for Halloween. Yeah. That's a step above. And someone, on, I think on Instagram he posted, or on Facebook, I don't know. Um, someone drew like a co- really cool cartoon of him as Cholo Fit, and I'm like, nice. okay, well, when people are drawing cartoons of you, yeah, and dedicating their fucking time to do that, yeah, you've made it. The next step is tattoos. Once I somebody bet gets a tattoo, someone has Cholo Fit. Like the, I bet. For sure. We'll have to ask him. We'll yeah. tweet at him. We'll yeah. See. Yeah. But uh, this is a project that he did actually with his friends and roommates in LA, yeah. uh, which is really funny. It's called As the you dra- do. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, know. It, you want to be creative and, and you want to write and you want to act. So you do your own shit. That's yep. the way you do it. Yep. And you want to have a podcast and talk shit? <laughs> you can create your own and keep riding it for six years. What are you talking That's about? That's what you do. I don't know. How does that feel? Feels good. We get somewhere. <laughs> uh, so he created. Uh, he and his friends uh, do the dress up gang. It's Rob Boardman, who's a director, Corey Loikasek, Donnie Devanian, and Frankie Quinones, who is cast. And it was we had a good time. It's super chill. I mean, I think we had already reached our comfort level with Sundance. It was our final interview, and it was with guys that we knew we were going to have fun with and just be comfortable. So it was perfect. And like what you said in our Ninth Street episode uh, last week, it was nice to see familiar a familiar face. Mm-hmm. And Frankie's been on the show before, a few years ago, before your time, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just nice to see him again and just... He came into the room. He's like, what's up? And we're like, oh, thank God. It's someone we know. Well, and let me tell you, I was a little pissed because oh. we're, we were like... Oh. oh, yeah. We were talking about our highlights of Sundance. Yeah. And we were like, oh, the red carpet for uh, Wu-Tang. And he goes, oh, yeah, I was at their after party. Yeah, we're like, well, why didn't you text us? And I'm sorry, we were there. He knew we were there. Well, but no, I mean, he got in because he knew someone, too. But And we ended up at the hey, BET party, yes. so that's fine. And we'll never shit on that night. So but, that's fine. you know, but he if knew we, we were there. If we got a text while we were at BET party on top of the fireplace dancing and been like, oh, by the way, you, do you guys want to come by? The, yeah, uh, I'm Wu-Tang partying with Wu-Tang. Party? Yeah, we kind of want to be there. Yeah. It's okay that all of us are a little sleep def- deprived. It's totally fine. No, I could have spared Char a fiver might... to, yeah. to kick it with Wu-Tang for yeah. a minute. Char might have fallen asleep at the party, but it would have been totally... <laughs> 
totally <laughs> worth it. It was totally fine. Yeah. So anyway, Frankie, next time shoot the homie just, a text. Just you knew for your bitches. You over knew here. I was there. You, you knew. knew. Mm, that was kind of weird. Yeah. Third eye. So anyway, interview <laughs> interview our interview our enjoy. <laughs> That's what I mean. keep drinking. It. <laughs> Which one's the third eye? Don't worry about it. You gotta That's, finish this part. Well, don't reference it to me because I one's gross and one's grosser. So, all right, wrap it up. Enjoy our interview with the dress up gang. We are back on the Festival Daily Buzz with Bitch Talk Podcast. My name is John Wildman. We're with my Bitch Talk co-hosts, Aaron Lim and Angela Tabora. We're going to talk about the episodic project, The Dress Up Gang. We have the three creators of the show, Donnie Devanian. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. <laughs> Corey Lukasik. Yeah. All right. Rob Boardman, who's also the director on the show. And we have Frankie Kionis, who's in the show. All right. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for, hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us. All right. So, Rob, let's have you... Introduce our listeners to what the Dress Up Gang is. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> the Dress Up Gang is uh, its a show, it's a comedy set in Los Angeles about uh, these two guys, Corey and Donnie, who have this really uh, unique relationship. Corey's kind of a, a charity case loser that lives on Donnie's couch, and Donnie's uh, a really a sweet and naive uh, <laughs> kid. I'm uh, like, yeah, he's, I'm a, he's an adult, but he. he he has a childlike uh, disposition. We created this show based on a web episode that web series that me and Donnie and we all live together in the same house that we shot the mm-hmm. show in, and mm-hmm. it's probably not unlike our actual friendship too much. It's a bit of exaggeration. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're personas. And then all our kind of surreal misadventures with all the neighbors in the courtyard and everything. Yeah. It's got an ensemble cast with Frankie leading the way. And yeah, um, Andy McDowell, Kirk Fox, Brent Weinbach. Um, Kevin Kamia. Yeah, a bunch folks. of standard comedians yeah. from Los Angeles. A lot of really, <laughs> funny, yeah. lot of really yeah. funny folks. And of course, the first question I have to ask you guys is how long does it take to choreograph the secret handshakes? Great question. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that took us a while, man. We were actually uh, practicing between, uh, between uh, uh, scenes and yeah. on set. Like <laughs> anytime like we had any yeah. uh, breaks in between shooting scenes, we would keep practicing the handshake. And we would record, record it, you know, fine tune a little bit. We probably did five solid sessions. I'd say. Yeah, yeah. We, we had did. that episode on the counter for a while and they were just gearing up for it all week. Yeah, did just, you have a choreographer adding. for it or was it no, just no, we just did, <laughs> just, You know what we were doing? We were watching like highlight reels of NBA like handshakes and yeah. Oh, right, yeah, athletes yeah, yeah. handshakes yeah, and yeah. we added our own stuff to it. We're like, okay, oh, that's good. And we started to just make it more absurd kind of like yeah. cooking yeah. stuff. Yeah, the oven, all the chicken. The yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> taking a, we were like taking, uh, taking a photo together. Yeah, together. a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> and Frank's pantomime is so strong. It's like we it had to really get some is. of that in there. Yeah. You kept up. You kept up. Yeah. I mean, you know, and and it's it's hilarious one of course they're, they're, it goes it's funny enough but when you're doing it with a time limit because you're trying to get the yeah like the chicken's done hurry up yeah, yeah. oh my god like so yeah good. for the listeners the episode is called the handshake and then donnie and i have this crazy handshake but it was funny in the editing remember it was like we were talking about damn should we just like leave it unedited that way people can see that it, but I think Rob did a good job of editing it together where you could tell that it was actually a yeah, full handshake yeah we thought if you have too many cuts you won't know that they actually yeah they're like oh yeah. they edited yeah. this together <laughs> did it little by little but yeah. no no we did it all the way through yeah. Yeah. well you know and, and again it, 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 it's silly ridiculous fun uh, but you do have to craft a story and, and, and I would love for you guys to talk about about that you know it's one thing to again to come up with very funny bits um but to make something like this, this successful you don't want to just drink together a bunch, of fu- a b- bunch of funny bits you have to have a point to it so um so i don't know which one of you want, wants to to speak up first on this but talk about that process i could probably collaborate on it but i think uh yeah that's a good point i mean i think our goal is always the story so yeah you're trying to as you think of different jokes and what different scenes you could have making sure that there's the narrative through line through it that by the end, hopefully by the end of each episode, we've earned some sort of, um, uh, I don't know, just ending, a heartfelt ending, or yeah, just making sure that everything is coming from the point of view of the characters and earned. And the handshake's funny, but it's about my jealousy of not having a handshake with Donnie and making sure that that comes through the whole episode and that hopefully by the end you kind of feel for my character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we like to get into really silly, like mundane or uh, <laughs> trivial conflicts or story problems, but there's also an underlying emotion with all those conflicts. And I think we have to, we always try to make sure that those emotions feel earned. 
It's a show about my feelings getting hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like therapy for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is really emotional. Uh, New Look Day, it's about acceptance and, and feeling okay with who you are and, mm-hmm. your, and your friends helping support you. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to Juanita Carmelita. Yeah. 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 Surprise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Frankie has many alter egos. Yeah. If you've ever seen his stand up, please check him out. Yeah. But Juanita Carmelita, I was happy to see her again. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the episode that we've gotten the, gotten the most positive feedback on just in terms of I want to do that with my friends well, yeah. 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 yeah I'm going to start doing that once a year so. yeah, yeah. 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 I know some people who had idea. a new look day party you know <laughs> oh, yeah we did when we filmed that when we had the cast and crew everybody came with a new look for that day of shooting uh, yeah it was really fun and yeah. also that was a heartfelt moment because I'm assuming that's a photo of your father yeah, yeah. And right. it was like mm-hmm. at the end mm-hmm. I was kind of crying a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. 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 sweet yeah, yeah. 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 he recently yeah. passed away too just a couple years ago well yeah when we did the webisode version of that it was about my dad hadn't passed away and he wasn't even sick it was sort of a different way of connecting with missing him because anyway we'd kind of grown apart but then when he passed away before we filmed the actual episode he did pass away so then that whole episode was a completely different context and yeah, really emotional. I'm trying to dress like my dad in the episode, and there it was, like, just grieving for him. So, yeah, mm. yeah it, was, it was pretty yeah. special. Yeah, very special. Well, yeah. when you have a, a core group like this that has um, worked together and, 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 and kind of figured out, um, you know, you know, what makes each other laugh and, what, and how you guys work together, when you bring additional people into <laughs> it, um, you know, that – uh, people handle that dynamic um, in in different ways. Talk about that. You know, and you know, in the episodes, um, you know, when people you, know, you have like an Andy McDowell, you have people like that come in. <laughs> That's a good question. What, what yeah. is that process like? Um, well, a lot of the people we brought in were mostly friends of ours that were comics, like yeah. uh, Christian and Kevin and Brent. Yeah. It happened people pretty organically. Yeah, but yeah. I think it was really important though, like because the web series and everything we did before that was us as friends, and kind of embracing how different we all are but the love we have for each other and letting that be what the show's sort of about a lot of very different people loving each other for some reason and as we brought people in just make whether it was the cinema the dp or the whole cast and crew we made it very clear like we want this to be a a a family environment and i think everybody that came in felt that and i think we especially all the actors we kind of wrote to their strengths and they were friends of ours before and i think we just kind of made that a the whole point of the show is to create a world that you want to live in where people love each other in it. And I think making sure that that felt mm-hmm. real while we were shooting was key. It's like a, even though it's set in LA, it's like a small town feel to the world. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It's a little courtyard and the yeah. neighbors. Well, and and also yeah. the music that you yeah, put yeah. into the episodes. Yeah. It's old timey. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? yeah. And for me, it reminds me of like my grandparents, like in a fun way, like my grandparents' parties growing up and, you know, just kind of, in those 90s movies with the feel good movie magic and just trying to yeah. see if you can get a little bit of that into something nowadays was kind of fun and Andy has a lot of that magic though even just her face on screen she has like a certain glow about yeah, it just yeah. like, oh. <laughs> how did yeah, she get on amazing. board yeah. with this man she saw some uh, of the, so, bit of the web series somehow her agent got it to her and she loved it and was like what yeah. well, but even just, to you and well, even, was, no no to well that, to step back from that we just when we were filming it we're like just always thought, wouldn't it be fun if Andy McDowell was our neighbor? I don't know. I would just <laughs> this, love. This was when we were making the webisodes. Yeah, like, okay. just, we yeah. kind of always thought for some reason it would be really funny if Andy was Donnie's neighbor. We just always <laughs> loved her and her sure. vibe it's would natural. fit our yeah. world and her. I don't know. We just thought that'd be funny. And then years later, when it became, we had the chance to develop it as a show. We were like. Well, they're like, we could reach out to her and see if she's interested. And it turns out she lives like down the street and watched the series. Yeah. She thought it was yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. You yeah. manifested it's that. It's a total dream yeah. come true. Yeah, it's a total wow. dream come true. I mean, we were like, remember the, the day that we found out that she got it? Like, oh, I think I cried, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. We were like, wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, I like, told my mom, because we were all big fans of Andy McDowell and Groundhog Day growing up. What about us? Yes, life? yeah. And my mom, I'm like, oh, we got Andy McDowell on the show. She's like, oh, whoa. Like, so you got like a lookalike or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no, like the real one. She like it took her a few minutes to get it. Like the anime that we watched on the TV. Like, She's like, oh, so you're yeah. serious about this? Okay, this is yeah. real. It, did. it gave a lot of credibility. The first day, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, yeah. She like street so cred, yeah. yeah. Same yeah. with my mom. And my grandma came and flew down to set so they could meet her from Northern California. Oh, that's so, so cute. cute. Yeah, that's so true. cute. I love she that. could have been more friendly too. She's like so oh, sweet. Oh man, she's a sweetheart. We've been talking to um, a, a few episodic projects on this show and talking about, you know, um, uh, episodics having a, uh, an opportunity at film festivals now. Um, but I would love actually for you guys to talk about um, 
the process of going from a, uh, a, a, a streaming uh, project um, into an episodic to, you know, to, to, to go take that next step. Yeah. Rob, you want to speak to that? Yeah. Um, well, in the writing process, we, we always like the idea of uh, keeping the kind of quarter hour, 10 minute stories. Um, and so TBS was like really cool with letting us kind of creatively do whatever we wanted. Uh, but we still had to kind of adhere to the 22 minute format. Mm. So the, the 10 episodes that we shot is actually 19 segments. And we did one full length 22 minute episode. But then the rest is, a, is um, you know, quarter hour for the most part, like two segments in one episode. Yeah, we really kept the exact same format, you know, for the most part. The biggest challenge was just going from us holding the boom mics on the side and the three <laughs> of us staying up and being able to do it as long as you wanted and film it to the, you know, to having to do it with like a real set. We'd never been on a real set before. So to go from the web series in our living room to, and they built a replica of our house as a, on the sound it was stage. Like kind of That's world freaking it was incredibly oh yeah, yeah it was We're incredibly about surreal. That, the Truman show. It's like it was a Truman show. Yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. wanted to have someone fall asleep in my house and then somehow get them on set, <laughs> let them wake up there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you could have drugged them. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a different... That probably would have been good PR for the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or for the show, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah. nailed it, man. It looked exactly like our apartment. It was like, oh, yeah. like okay, we're, we're gonna pretty, make something close to it. It'll yeah, be we were cool, pretty but... picky about getting the details, like, of the apartment, like, even scuffing the walls. So yeah, everything. Dirty. The crown mold. We like, yeah. wow. you, you don't know when intangibles it. matter. So yeah. as you do the web series, we're like, I don't know, maybe the color of the wall was important. Yeah. So when we did the show, we are like, if we could just keep everything kind of how it was, that'd be kind of nice. Just to... but they did an incredible job of making this that feel like it was on location like hmm. they had light panels up above and walls totally closed in and then we had lights on the outside of the set but I mean yeah, they if you watch it. the show I mean I can't yeah you know, friends of ours are like well you guys shot it at your apartment like yeah. no man that's set. It's <laughs> that's in a stage in a sound stage yeah. like, what and then we did shoot on location at the courtyard um but we yeah. did that, you know, for just a little bit. Yeah. Well, again, the, the title of the show is The Dress Up Gang. Uh, we've had with us uh, Frankie Quinones, who's in, in on the show, Donnie Devanion, Corey Lukasik, yeah. and Rob Boardman, the creators, and Rob, of course, is a director on the show as well. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, oh, thanks, thanks so much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. So that was our interview with the men behind The Dress Up Gang, Rob Boardman, Corey Loikasek, Donnie Devenian, and Frankie Quinones. They're great. They're lovely. They're Donnie, hilarious. Donnie's hair. You guys, if you yeah. haven't Googled these it's guys. It's magnificent. Or know who they are. Donnie, who's one of the main characters in the show, his hair is fantastic. And I thought it was a wig. I didn't know it was real. And what Anyways. about one of the episodes where it's like try something new day, right? We talked about oh. it with him and he straightens his hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should incorporate that into like a bitch talk event. Should we come in here and try something new? Yes. With our, or, but or we can't event. do anything with our looks because it's a podcast. So should yeah, we try to? Maybe I'm, we should do like speak in accents. No, I think that's. It could border on racism. I'm good. That's or cultural appropriation. That's true. And I don't want to do that. Good point. Thank you. Maybe you should cut that out, Sean. No. <laughs> don't cut that out. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh... Maybe we should I'm do it with Dana. I'm trying to think of with a podcast. But we should do it with Dana. What if we like, impersonate? Well, see, it's then not that impersonating. Could... It's just like you're trying something new. But in a podcast, what does that Maybe mean? Maybe you'll that means wear sound... like a frilly dress. You'll but it's color a podcast that doesn't matter in but a podcast. We can put it on Instagram stories and oh, Facebook. Real who? All that shit. Okay, well, these things matter. Um, only, only me and Char know this in the room. Uh, but anyways, we could, I don't know. It's fun. Okay. Maybe it's a bar crawl. I don't know. We'll invite our friends and we'll record that podcast. Anyways, just thoughts. I hope you enjoyed that interview. They're fucking hilarious. Check the Dress Up Gang out on YouTube and Vimeo. And check us out at bishtalkpodcast.com and bff.fm for your morning commute. Powered by GoTo Productions. Bitch, please.